bill. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Create a coy bill? Yeah, like in honor of the first being who could also wield Thor's hammer. It wasn't Thor. <laughs> Looks like a horse guy. Look it up. It's pretty weird. Is there, yeah. Anyway, but I, um, in, in my eagerness to move him to this like awesome new tank, I got him. He died. So <laughs> how long did he last? Like three days. Really? Yeah. You sure you didn't buy like a painted goldfish? I mean, maybe. I could have, but I mean, for the price, honestly, that could be. But no. No. Well, that's pretty sad. Yeah, I mean... So did you end up getting the tank, though? Yeah, yeah, so the tank is sitting in my living room. <laughs> so you just have this badass fish tank for one fish that you no longer have? Yeah. All right, let's t take me through this fish tank and how sweet it is, because I want to picture it. Well, I mean, it's pretty sweet for, like, a betta fish, right? Like, you know, people keep them in, like, little glass bowls with, like, some, like, plant shit that's yeah. dangling in it. That's not my style. He's got, like... This huge fake coral thing compared to his size that was in there. To him, well, to the ghost fish that's in there. Oh, you know what? You go for ghost oh, watch. Shit. Yeah. Ghost fish. Yeah. A subsidiary of ghost watch. Um. <laughs> ghost watch. But no, it's got like, just it is very nice for a beta. That. You know. So are you gonna get another beta? Maybe. I don't know. I was thinking maybe like a neon tetra. Why don't you start with getting one of those like algae fish so it just takes care of most of the cleanliness inside of the tank? That's a very lazy and a very good idea. I'm just saying like, yeah. you know, if you're just getting in the world of fish, learning how to take care of one of those would take like half of your job out of the picture. Yeah, I, you. I mean, that's actually fantastic. <laughs> 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 I think I think we found a winner, and I'll call it uh, Mr. Sarlacc. Not Mr. Clean. No, because it's gonna be on the side, you know. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It'll look like a Sarlacc pit stuck to the side of the glass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That'll be fine. Yeah. And then when that one dies, I'll probably just put the tank away like everyone else does. It'll sit there and get gross. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, and then if I have children at some point, they'll be like, when did we have a fish? And I'll be like, before you were gone. <laughs> yeah. But, no. My aunt used to have a uh, crazy, crazy big fish tank thing. Um, she had it in the basement, too, and sometimes she would get fish before the tank. Like, she would get the tank. So, like... What, what does she do with the fish, then? So, like, or so I'm going in the basement, right, and she has, like, a cool, like, fresh water or whatever tank. Like she's got a salt water tank. And then she has, like, tubings and pumps hooked up in, like, just, like, this big, like, bucket basket. And there's, like, a couple of sharks just, like, swimming around. <laughs> And, then the, and there'd just be, like, some fish you would have to keep away from general population, so there'd be, like, another bucket. Oh, Miss Kitty. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> no, but just like sharks in a bucket. That's yeah, like, exactly. I would go downstairs and there'd just be this big red bucket and he's like, you know, they're like like this big sharks. Yeah, yeah. The ones that like when you go to a, like a fancy electronic store and they have that fish tank in there. Yeah. You know, it's like swimming around the bottom and it's like, I know you're a shark, but I could take you. Fuck. Right, you know, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Because sharks is more just like a, a term, right? Yeah, I guess. Because it's like a cartilaginous fish, and then we don't need to get into that now. No, we don't. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we stepped away from that conversation. <laughs> You're afraid of sharks? <laughs> That's a new thing. <laughs> no, Did you know sharks, sharks can swim up your toilet? Well, they can't. Can they even survive in the sewer? Bull sharks can. Yeah, it's... Where are there bull sharks swimming in sewage? Up the Mississippi? Jersey? I'm being serious about this. <laughs> Touche. No, I mean, no, but yeah, that's all, like all the way up the Mississippi. We need to have a shark week and just find out what grody things sharks can do. They cover themselves in like a, kind of like a pea layer. Helps them with deal with the salt, I guess. Because there's like a salt differential that they need to deal with. So how do you specifically latch on to pee? 
Because they're your. Like, I think it's like. Hey, here's a question. You know what? We need to we need to make this a whole thing. Wait, here's a question. This is. You know how they're like, oh, when you get stung by a jellyfish, you know, pee on it. Yeah, but that doesn't actually work, right? Well, that I believe. Okay, yeah, sure. I, Oh, that, that's, that's, I've never been stung by a jellyfish. But eh? here's the thing: Why is it always someone else has to pee on you? Why can't you just pee on yourself? Well, you should be able to pee on yourself. Well, I guess not everyone has the capability. I mean, if you didn't have to go and someone you were with happened to have to go, it would work out really nicely. But there's no reason that in the in the I, country that we live in, you shouldn't be able to pee on yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. James Aguado, 2024. <laughs> Go for him. Actually, I think I can run. No. I was looking at I think you only need to be like 36, right? Oh, wait. That was actually my plan, yeah. like, like but what, four years ago. Okay, but well, then what would your platforms be? So, I'd make mine out of steel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd choose wood. Uh, American wood painted with the American flag on it. <laughs> and, I, and I would bring it to every town and stamp on it and say, this stage don't bend, no break. <laughs> this is my platform and I stand on it. You know what? Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Is there like a... Like, is there a, wait, are you talk, you're talking about like president, right? Well, how do you have to be to run for vice president? I don't know. But I think you only need to be like 36 or 35 to run for yeah. for like president. I yeah, think but, but I'm saying like for be. vice president because like yeah, that doesn't count, yeah, right? So like... I mean, I feel like there it sh there's no way it should be older, so it would probably be in the same ballpark, right? And I know it's always like a running thing, but doesn't it always seem more like vice president's like, I wanted to be president, but they didn't think I was good enough. Like... What if, what if purposely like the old the the youngest you can be to be a vice president is like 25 or something? Yeah. So they're just <laughs> so it's just a way for them. Well, the president said, but you're not old enough to be president. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh man, like yeah, if he like the president got shot, he's just like, well, looks like it's gonna be uh, Secretary of State until you get a year older. <laughs> you and me need to get together and make this a script because this sounds like um like a 90s like kids movie. Like a kid in King Arthur's Court, a rookie yeah, of the year. Yeah, but it's made for it's made for the, our generation, which is like, oh, what's like a what's like a teenager for us? It's like 32. <laughs> <laughs> so we could do like kid presidents. <laughs> oh, oh, I fell down. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wrong one. Is that this way? Ooh. Let's give a lovely hand to Nate, our producer, who's telling us how everything looks on the camera. Yeah, apparently Jim wasn't jimming the camera right. Apparently not. So, what do you think? Do you think we should meet our first guest? Sure. All right, well, Why not? Let me get my card so I can find out who's here. All right. So, tonight our first guest tonight is Megan Black. Blackman, sorry. My hand was over the card. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, how are you? Welcome to the show. <laughs> People always spell it wrong, but you guys spelled it right, so it's fine. <laughs> so how is it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good. First thing first thing out the gate. What do you love most about Nicolas Cage? Oh my god, I'm so glad you asked me that question. <laughs> ah, yes. Holy shit. He's right up there for me with like I think his swag and, like, his vibe, like, overall vibe. He just has, like, a dark vibe, but, like, he's approachable. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, that would be, like, that's what I see in Nick. But then when he's a badass, I'm like, you just go for it. It's fine. You're Nicolas Cage. You can do it. You pretty much can't. <laughs> yeah. There's actually a movie that I watched with him in it. He didn't say one word the entire movie. It's, like, basically Five Nights at Freddy's. Is that one? The yeah. The one where he kills all the animatronics? Shh. That, spoiler alert. Oh, my God. God. So that movie, have you seen it yet? <laughs> yeah. 
Isn't that so great? It's so good. It's so great. Have you seen it yet? Nate, this is like the fifth week we've talked about this movie. How have you not movie? seen it at this You point? need to just watch it on Netflix. Like, you're, you're doing yourself a disservice. <laughs> it's and amazing. And Lord of War. Lord of War is good, too. Lord of War yeah. is awesome. Yeah. That's that a real fine good. American patriotic movie. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted to see I that. I Con Air was the more patriotic movie. I love <laughs> Con Air. Yeah. Con John Malkovich is in it. John Malkovich I do, love, is so I do great. love John Malkovich, yes. Malkovich, He's Malkovich. right up there for me, too, of course. Yes. <laughs> he actually went to school here. He went to college here, ISU. Did he really? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Yep. Don't ask me how I know. I know lots of weird facts. Yeah, I know, I know <laughs> random stuff myself. Lori Metcalf went to the same school. She was in Roseanne. And Wait. then the guy who plays Jack in Will and, Will and Grace, he went to ISU. Did he? Yeah. Jack. Oh, okay. And then we have Tina Fey, and she grew up like around here too. Yeah, she, she totally to did. And I know yeah. that um, what was it? Wasn't um, from Parks and Rec? Parks. And Amy Poehler. Did yeah. she do stuff here too? I, I don't know if she did. I know Dave Chappelle went to Second City here. Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Let's well, not talk about Dave Chappelle right now. <laughs> but enough. yeah. We'll, we'll move on to Tina Fey. So, tell us about <laughs> what you do. What I do yeah, what is do? I create. So I've, as long as I've been, as long as I've known since I was about five or six years old, I've always been an artist. I've never been, I've always been other and different. And even with like my own family, I always feel like, even up to now, I mean, I'm, I'm more connected with my family now, but like I always felt like I was different than all of them. So I just knew, like, I'm an artist. So everything I ever did was art, um, like creating, you know, clothing, like changing my clothing when I was in high school, just dressing how I wanted. I loved to do like scrapbooking and just anything that I could get my hands on to create. I always loved doing that. So nine to five jobs were never my thing. I've done them. I respect it. <laughs> I respect the hustle, but I can't do that because <laughs> it's like. I need to have freedom to be able to create and the more that I'm, yes, I have the stable job and I realize now that's helping me to buy things I want for my art. Um, but now recently I'm doing music. So before that I was doing hair and I got burned out doing hair. Oh, there's a kitty. Yep. She keeps <laughs> Here, I was petting her, her earlier. So <laughs> she's probably like, why do you stop petting me? Pretty much. She <laughs> loves the love. Yeah. You're like too pretty. I, like I can't pet you right now. Um, <laughs> so I, I originally came to Chicago to do hair and I started at 19 and I just realized I'm never going to own a salon. I'm a millennial. Like I can't be someone's boss. I don't want to do this. So I just quit. And that was after about 10 years I was doing hair. So yeah, once I turned, you know, got a little bit older, I realized, you know what? The reason why I love doing hair is because I always like doing hair at, at photo shoots. And I always loved seeing the photographers take photos of what I did. And I loved that when I was a kid. Like I said, growing up, reading, <coughs> um, you know, magazines of Vogue or In Style. Like, I never wanted to be the model. I wanted to be the person, like, doing the shoot. Like, why do they have that bag? Why do they have that dress? Why is the background the way oh, it yeah. is? Like, I <coughs> like the behind-the-scenes stuff. So I did videography. And I mostly just filmed for, like, DJ events or festivals or music videos, a lot of the fire dancing we have in Chicago, because it's, like, really cool to see fire. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fire, like, yeah. Yeah. Fire's fire awesome. dancers, yeah, it's awesome. So I used to film <laughs> that. And then, like, I think it was the Chicago Full, Full Moon Jam. That place was really cool, but then it got to be a little bit too mainstream with, like, the audience. There was just, like, tons of kids eventually going, okay. and I'm like, oh, this isn't part of the tour. <laughs> Because then they have, yoga, they have yoga before, I don't know, it's just yeah. weird. So I used to like filming that kind of stuff. Hi, baby. Want to get on my lap? Oh, she's just crazy. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks I'm a cat, I think, for my outfit. Um, yeah, so now I'm doing music. So I started making music because I was tired of buying music for my videos. It was going through hours and hours of finding files and just hating myself and just not having fun, and just taking up time editing videos. So every minute for a videographer and editor is like a year. Like everything should be done in a timely manner, yeah. as long as you can. <coughs> so I started making my own music, 
And I used really old music software and like a MIDI chord and I would just play and like a keyboard and I'd make music. And then <laughs> after that, um, I would just start playing music for my friends, like just to test it out and be like, hey, what do you guys think? And they loved it. And then up until maybe a year, the second year into the quarantine, I had already been making like a hundred tracks. Like I just started making more music and more music. And so I have a lot of music from like two years ago. So like I never try to play the old stuff for people, but I just recently had done that yesterday and people were like really loving it. So I was like, oh. I want you to be on like a journey. It's not like, oh, it's just a house music track or techno. It's like, oh, this bitch is telling us a story. Like, yeah. So, so was that's that, what I do now. Is that your inspiration? Your your, your tracks kind of like tell. They a do. Tale? They represent my emotions. <clears throat> they represent maybe what I don't want to hear. Like when I want to hear more of in the music scene, like sounds and just like blending different genres together. Because that's all I do. Like I'm. I, th I think if you were to describe like how I make music, it's like going into your kitchen and grabbing all the stuff in your kitchen and making like a delicious meal and like no one would ever like know how you did it. Like that's, okay. that's, and that's the feedback I'm getting is like, how did you do this? How long did it take you? There's not, I'm just learning that there's like more music producers obviously in the city. A lot of them are not local. They don't live here. So... It's kind of hard to talk to my friends who DJ about music production because it's like they they know good music and they have good taste, but the, creating the music, getting the sounds, like knowing where to get them, it's just it's a different field. Oh, it's like a whole different yeah. ball game. Yeah. I have a I have a buddy who um, <clears throat> does electronic music and right now he's uh, doing like completely analog sounds now he's built mm -hmm. just like crazy boards that hook into various ones oh yeah you have wires galore and he just like <laughs> creates his own sounds but he used to like go to sound banks hmm. and just like buy like yeah you just buy like audio files yeah just audio. like a bunch of random yeah. audio that's files that's what i do i mean like now they've made like better software for that kind of stuff <laughs> i use uh, loop cloud if anyone uh, i'll repeat it loop cloud if people are listening um, it's, it's a really great software because like an eight year old could do it. It's not hard, but it's yeah. like, there's, you can look by genre label or like instrument or whatever. And then you can just put each track individually and then it just loops it for you. So you can just keep dragging and dropping and you play your loops and it just does it for you. So when I go to put it on Ableton, it's already timed out perfectly. Oh, nice. like, <coughs> so the BPM is, everything's the same. So. Software is transferable. I'm learning that like Ableton is like the biggest software out there for like Oh yeah, hundred percent. It's also like, like incredibly user friendly. Yeah, like I even the Ableton top tier like engineers use it. Yeah. Like they still use it. I'm like and there's logic and something else. But I was just using Cubase. I mean it was like a just I was just getting apps and I also have music. Cubase too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people that are younger than me or even my age don't know what Cubase is. I was really surprised. <clears throat> I was like, wait, what? It's like anyone can use it and it's free. Yeah. Because <laughs> Ableton's expensive. I was going to get an Ableton 11 suite and it was $700. And Where's I was it? like, I don't know if I want to spend this much money when I could just try harder on what I have. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's got to be so It's a good investment. <laughs> it's a good investment, but it's like I'd rather just like try to do it and be smarter and not just have to rely on like a software to do everything. Yeah. I like being able to search and like it's just more challenging. It's good for your brain, <laughs> you know. So DJing is what I'm doing now. Uh, I have actually have a gig coming up next Thursday at Enjoy. So the DJing thing kind of came later. Um, when I put my music out on Spotify, <coughs> then it was last summer, and then I DJed in September of that month of that year, last year, and then I did. Um, like a rave in like Milwaukee, which was really fun because we just stayed the, the day after and like it snowed that day. I'm like, I'm not going home, I'm waiting until Sunday. <laughs> um, but that was really fun to be like out in a, in a city where I didn't know anyone, and it was like at a rock and roll bar that like the owner just like basically opened it just for our event, which was really fun. Nice. She didn't get any like stragglers coming in, you know, it was just invite only kind of thing, which I think was more fun because bars and clubs have limits. They, they cut you off if you drink too much. 
and they have bouncers, so you don't like yeah. that. So collective parties are kind of what I'm aiming for to do more. Um, I do like the bar that I went to, Enjoy. Um, that's where I'm going to be playing, but it's fun. It was fun. I actually got to go there a couple times as a patron and kind of like network with other people because everyone that goes there is like a DJ or like a producer. So it's like, oh, you're just like that random dude, like house music. No, he's a producer. <laughs> like, they don't look the part. Yeah. You're in Chicago, you don't know until you talk to someone that they're a producer. If there's a look in LA, like you can tell how people dress sometimes, you know, like what they do. Or even New York, but Chicago's just so Midwest. Like, we just dress fly, and that's it. It's just what it is. <laughs> it's just what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, we're about to pop up this flyer for you. So, this is oh, the flyer so, yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. Let's talk about this Enjoy event. Yeah, so Enjoy, I think, okay, so Mike uh, Bledsoe, he is the one that's been like, he's basically the promoter and the producer for this House Broken Thursdays. So I've never, I honestly have never been to Enjoy until like maybe four years ago, and I went once, and I got really shit faced from when I left. So I really get to enjoy the aesthetic. <laughs> but when I got offered to to play uh, next week, I had gone in like on a Facebook post. Uh, Mike put a Facebook post that said like, "Hey, if you come and support us tonight." It was a Monday, okay? He was like, "Hey, if you want to come and support us tonight." He's like, maybe we'll get you on the list. And I was like, oh, maybe like a guest list. So I had no idea. So like, I ended up going, he like came over and he was like, hey, so what day do you want to DJ? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I thought it was a guest list. And he's like, this is a bar. And I was like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I was really happy. It was like a happy accident. So I, he's like, I know you played before and I've heard your music. You, sh you, sh you should play. It was like me and maybe four other people that showed up for that post. I thought he was just being funny, and I was like, I'm going to show up, I like this guy, he's cool. I already knew him, so it's just nice to be able to be playing now. Like, he actually was true to his work. Like, I thought it was, he wouldn't he wouldn't have just, like, offered it just to get people in the bar and, like, buy alcohol, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. He actually, like, was, he was just a weird guy, he was fun. So, he mix well, uh, she'll be headlining, and you must stay. If, even if you don't see me, guys, I don't care if you come and see me. I mean, I do, but if you, if you come late, stay, because J T. Mixwell is amazing. She does Detroit techno, house, funk, boogie, does it all. So I'm excited. This might be... When? When? <laughs> when? <laughs> oh, the 24th. <laughs> <laughs> The 24th of 10. We I'm need, playing at 10. We need to get him a whiteboard so he can write these things <laughs> Yeah, you need to write for it. I'm sorry. I'm not very good with, like, uh, social cues. Yeah, I didn't get it all. <laughs> I don't know about the it's spectrum. Fine. No, so, I, you know, I, 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 I watched that happen. I was like, I was like, 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 yeah, was like okay. Like, I'm just going to let like, this one happen. I'm laughing at you. I was like, do I stop talking? It was fun to watch that. At least for me. No, no, I got it. I was like. He's really cute doing it, though. The gestures are adorable. Yeah, I just. When? When? <laughs> yeah. Like at first I was like, is he special? I was like, is he saying yeah. when? Like that is enough syrup on my face. <laughs> what the hell? I'm just trying to be nice. Uh, you just so, be nice, man. <laughs> so it seems like you've been pretty successful. How has being a DJ during COVID affected you? Though? It hasn't really, because I just started. <laughs> Fair but, enough. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it might, no, I mean, my experience has been very lucky, but at the same time, shitty because I'm starting at 35 years old, which I know there isn't like a cap for your life or whatever, but... I mean, you do anything whenever. Yeah, yeah, it's just that... Thank you, guys. It's just that... That's how it works. You know, you're starting when everyone's so freaked out and, like, just scared all the time. And then you just want them to, like, see you and play. They can't because they're scared. Right? <laughs> and it's like, damn it. Like, aren't they more important than your health? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I yeah, but I mean, at least, But like, it's just so sad because you want the human interaction. Like, right? that's why I want you to be there. So you see your face. You get people to rent those bubbles like those, like, uh... <laughs> big bubbles. Yeah, no, those giant like, round things you can roll you out. Yeah, like, you uh, have a babysitter roll you or something. No, but you could get just, like, the bubble <laughs> soccer ones where you're just, like, kind of holding it yourself and your legs are out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And it's, like, open on top. You can just, like, body it's check such a people. bad look. <laughs> that actually would be awesome at a concert. Yeah. Right? Can you imagine how sweet a mosh pit of that, that would be? Yeah. Actually, that would be safer. You would be just you'd yeah, be a giant be beach ball. You know you'd just be a bunch of beach actually, balls. You'd, you'd actually, you'd clear some people out. Oh. You would clear some people out. Like, oh, you'd have I, some no, room. I've, I've like, played, I've, you knock I've, into someone, it's I've like domino effects. I played that effect. soccer, <laughs> and it was rough. 
<laughs> like the guy who invited me was so like, hey. So we get to kick the balls? <laughs> yeah, so your legs are out, but everyone's running around. I have my phone, I want to look it up. Everyone's running around, out. like holding it, like, and like the, the handles Where are... Where do they do this in Mars? On Mars? <laughs> Uh, like Lincoln Park. Oh, it's Mars. Yeah. Sure. To Mars. me, it's Mars. Yes, I guess. But I Lincoln mean, Park is alien to me. It was the guy who invited me was like, "Hey, I need to fill out my team because, like, whatever reason." Yeah, we just need you as a placeholder. So I was like, I show up, and like, turns out, like, we're not even any, like, I'm not even on his team. Like, you just need people to play, and. I got, checked, I got checked so hard by the, and it's like the handles hit you in the face, it's just not comfortable. You don't like being hit in the face. Not with hard <laughs> handles. <laughs> yeah, nobody likes that. <laughs> no, I mean, that sounds, dude, I don't know if I would do that. I would feel like I'd break my leg or something, I don't know. I didn't even like soccer normal, so I don't know if I would like it with, in a bubble where I'm trapped. It's fun, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's fun. Scary. It's fun. <laughs> I would just want to do racing, like see how far you could run in those things. You can run really far because they don't like they don't cover much. <laughs> could you imagine someone going through like that, like the finish line with us? Like we. Like, oh, so we're running an entire like, like marathon in one of those. Yeah, exactly. Slowly and like slowly, just like in each one of those, like the bubbles actually fill up the area. Really heavy. Towards the end, we're going to be breaking the barrier. change colors if you pee in it like oh like they have that i was like i was like, I was like i was like all right challenge accept that, that. yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> like this is happening like let's do it and then you just like fly and then away. guess what happens but it would, nothing it yeah. would follow you because you're like it that doing... doesn't happen man they don't put like i'm well. sure there's pools that do it i just don't know what that yeah. doesn't make that sense like okay search. so there's there's <laughs> some chemicals yeah. how much how many chemicals are they cycling like cycling through just to catch the odd like toddler pissing, like yeah, that doesn't right. seem. It doesn't seem plausible because, like, you imagine all the stuff that just secretes from your body. Does that also affect? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, like all the stuff, like, oh, yeah. No, like, that would be a, that would be a lot of like sweat and stuff coming out. Like no, beer, but like, like so it's so like it's. What if someone spills a beer? It has a lot in there. It's way what if it's, someone spills a beer? <laughs> Just like, I'm sure there's people who drink it I think, I think we need to get a public pool. I think pool. it's only meant for the chemicals <laughs> of urine. I think it's only, it only works with chemicals of urine, I think. It doesn't catch anything else. I think so, it's just a urine piece. So it's, it's like urine. an ammonia thing. Yeah, it's like an ammonia thing. So we need to get a bottle of Windex, <laughs> but like the clear kind, and test this out too. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, wait, put it in there with the pee? Well, no. Oh. There, there's, there's ammonia in like Windex <laughs> and window cleaners. 
there's ammonia in your urine. Yeah. So if it's something to do with the chemical reaction of what's in yeah, your pee, we should totally like take some Windex. <laughs> pour into a, I'm just saying we're going to a public okay, pool. We're just going to dump a can, bunch can, of stuff can, in it. Can we get a confer- confirmation <laughs> on, uh, you write that on, down. on the... You what, said the, that the on camera, guy? so now you have to <laughs> <laughs> Ammonia and Windex, yeah. No, no, I'm saying, oh. like, can you, what, can you what Google Windex? whether or not they actually like ammonia. have died? Of, <laughs> no, 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 There's, like, like other stuff in it, but uh, I know about it. Will anything, the stream will end because of all the bandwidth. I close to, like, uh... That makes sense. ...what lighter fluid is. No, I always thought it was, like, really close. No, antifreeze. I always thought it was, like, antifreeze. I'm like, that shit's just anti It might be, it might be, like yeah, it might be close to it. Yeah. Like lighter fluid? No, Windex. <laughs> <laughs> I missed out on something. Windex. We said Windex. Windex, something like, yeah. Oh, like an anti-freeze kind of thing. Yeah, lighter version of it. Drink it. <laughs> what are we, Jonathan the, the Magnificent? If you drink longer? it, then your yeah. urine would definitely be bad. It'd be blue. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's only blue if It would be bloody. Because your organs would just melt. All right, well... <laughs> I love that we talked about melting organs. Oh yeah, why not? We talk about everything on this show. (laughs) So yeah, you guys are awesome. We're gonna bring on our next guest, but before we do that, I'm just gonna remind everyone that February 24th at Enjoy 2051 West Division between 10 p.m. and 2 in the morning, this house broken is going down. Do it. Now you still get to hang out. Yeah. We're just going to move you over to the second chair, but I don't know. Um, Sorry, right, I'm getting my beer soon. So we I'll usually be... do a tale from Dwight. I hope I don't break this chair. Do you have any <laughs> random childhood tales of abuse, neglect, or <laughs> misadventure that you would like to share, like a tales from Dwight from Ian? I mean, thank you. Do I? If not, well, yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, there's a there's a kid named Mike. That I uh, grew up with in Skokie. There's so many Mikes. Yeah, so many Mikes. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, the thing is, Mike was Mike was cool, dude. He's fine most of the time. But like somehow, and I have other friends who can confirm this, he w- he had this this wooden box on wheels, hmm. and it could lock. Don't know why he had it. <laughs> what was in but there? He, nothing. Nothing. What's in and the box? somehow, somehow, he tricked all of us subsequently to getting into this fucking box. Like together? No, separately. Together. Like, <laughs> oh, some morbid. Like individually. It's so morbid though, like together. <laughs> That's horrible. Like you how are, big was this box? I think he asked you I why mean, it was you big to enough to that. fit yeah, like, a, like a. Okay, so we were like ten between ten and. 13, so like... So you were dumb. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, not much to Was this person also a 10-year-old boy? Yes, he was also a 10-year-old boy. Yeah, no, that's all... He would tell you what if I told you to get in it. I mean, what's in the box? There's a piece of candy in there. I mean, what what kind of candy is it? A Rolo? James Woods, where you find a piece of candy. Is it a Rolo? It's whatever you want it to be. Oh, the hell it's yeah. Really if it's whatever I want it to be, hell yeah. There's going to be one of those, like, three-foot gummy snakes. Because you just be in the box and you could eat your snack. On a three-foot gummy snake by the time I am <laughs> finishing it, I don't care where I am. <laughs> I want to disagree with you. I would probably, if there was a really nice piece of candy in there, I'd probably do it. Too. Yeah. Like, I mean, we're all dumb when it comes to candy. Yeah, like, like oh, here's a whole it's bag of sugar mixed, and chocolate. Like, like, yeah, yeah, mint chocolate's just in yeah. there, a whole bag. It's just like, why not? Why <laughs> not just eat this? That's like, that. That would be a real world. That's mimic. America in a nutshell, guys. If a mimic were real, that's what it <laughs> Cheers. was. Cheers. Okay, but I'm, no, I digress. Point is, he would get all of us to somehow get in this box and then lock it, like put a <laughs> so put just a padlock it. on it, and then like. He was like, put you push the box around and be like, uh, and uh, you could hear that there was a, there was a busy street nearby, and he was like, no, <laughs> he would wheel the no. box over by the like by the street and be like, I'm gonna push it in. Oh my god! It's like, how are you alive to tell the story? Well, he wouldn't do it. He would just. Again, how are you alive to tell the story? Maybe I'm not. <laughs> maybe you're still in the box. Maybe, are, you, are you in hell right maybe now? Maybe this is all just like I'm still in the box. Yeah. And I've finally suffocated. And, this and you're, is my just last all, you're just in a different reality. It's now. like Jacob's Ladder situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. they remade that movie. Uh, they what did? happened in that one? Is he still shot? Bad. I don't know. I didn't watch <laughs> it, but I recently saw it scrolling through films. When did it come out? Like uh, within the last like ten years. Huh. 
Yeah, I know. It's like, been really funny if it was just like it's like a flashback to when this guy got all those piercings. Jesus Christ! Dick. I was like, <laughs> that just made, that did not make me feel any better. I was like 25 when that movie came out. So. Yeah. Okay, that I mean, just makes me sad because I'm like, oh, I wish it like came out now because I'd watch it. I don't think I would have watched it. Oh man, who was in that movie? Shawshank guy, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tim Robbins. Yeah. yeah he's all I can ever think about is him in War of the Worlds. Not my blood, and then just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like he's super, yeah, he's like right, crazy, yeah. like bludgeon him to death, and he just like does to his daughter. He's like, don't come out. Yeah, yeah, it's gross. Like, you're, like, whoa. <laughs> it was disturbing. Yeah, I watched it's that, and I was disturbing. like, this should not have been. I was like, why is like, that? Like an overnight why? camp trip, like to take us to the movies. We are, we should not be. It's like, why, that. why is the wrong guy dead? <laughs> All right. Yes, yeah, true, true. So we're gonna bring out our next guest. Our second guest of the evening is Andrew the Rose. question what do you love most about Nicolas Cage oh my god I gave my answer you're not talking well I mean how can I begin to <laughs> experience the level of Cage yep. <laughs> in that life oh my god like <laughs> idol masterpiece genius although fun fact uh, he's the uh, nephew of the uh, director of the uh, Godfather Really? Yeah. You know what? I actually just found yeah, that no, out no, myself. He's a, he's like, yeah. Like he changed his name. Like he's a Coppola. Right? Yeah, like, he's he's a, yeah he's a Coppola royalty or celebrity royalty or something. Whatever right you want to call him. Could have used that, but he was like, nope, I want to do my own thing. He's well, a vampire. Can, well, you can't cage the cage. Yes, <laughs> you can. He is the cage. It's such a you joke. can. Okay. It's around his head and filled with you bees. You can't cage the cage, kids. <laughs> He's actually, uh, he based that name off the uh, comic book hero, uh, Luke Cage. <laughs> that's serious. Is, is it really? Is Luke yeah. Cage that old? Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Power Man. <laughs> oh, wow. Man of Steel. Do you know that he's, like, really, really into, like, Superman? And he's always wanted to play he Superman. He was supposed and to be I've Superman. I've seen the I've footage of Superman Tim Burton's Superman. Superman. No, have you seen that With yeah. him? No, yep. talking about Like, his tryouts? Yep. Yeah, that's amazing. Yep. yep. He no, has he's the long like a, hair. Yeah. And, uh, oh, the, the Witcher. The, uh, the Witcher, no. Outfit. He was in The Witcher. <laughs> that's fucking great. Did you talk about the guy who played Superman? No, we're talking about Nicholas Cage, though. Oh, oh, sorry. Well, we were deprived of that. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Like a Nicholas Cage a Superman, like, I would have, like, given up my left testicle for that. <laughs> I mean, I totally I would love games. to see that. Yeah. He's awesome, too. <laughs> I mean, that guy's great, but that's a whole so, different thing. So, tell us about your art. <laughs> well, I primarily uh, focus on, like, sort of themes of, like, animal and nature. Like, my father worked for the Fish and Wildlife Service, so I got to see a lot of the sort of reservations and just all around nature around this country. Like, what I like to sort of do is like, I love to do chalk art around the city and uh, I used to work with two other people, uh, Rod and uh, Lakey, but they moved back to Texas, so I'm just kind of picking up the so mantle. Well. Yep, I'm doing it so low, but I've been sort of running events with uh, chalk art with other artists and I'm like, hey, want to make some art? When it starts getting warm enough, like, I bring people and I'm like, hey, let's go make art. And, yeah. You guys ever add stuff? You ever add, like, to each other's art? Yep. Yeah, yeah like, we always <laughs> try to, uh, <laughs> we always try to uh, just add where a place where we are, like, if there's a sidewalk, we just cover the whole area. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. That's right. Cool. That sounds really fun. Where do you like too. to go? Like, where's your favorite place? Just anywhere around Chicago. Hmm. Like, there's plenty of parks around here, so like anywhere. Lots of room. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> it's a canvas everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Or when the authorities allow us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair the enough. That's <laughs> exactly. Basically. There's only <laughs> one time I've ever they been kicked out of a place in Millennium Park. <laughs> 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 so, let's go through your creative process. All right. Like you mentioned, uh, 
you know, that uh, your your dad worked for this wildlife thing, and you've seen, like, a lot of beautiful sceneries. Uh, talk about, you know, how that kind of inspires you more, and, like, how that, you know, what's, what's your process? How do you start a painting or just, a drawing? I just think of, like, art, right? Like, I'm very much a nihilist, but, like, I've tried to view things as, like, half full a little bit. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, I'm pretty yeah. much like, all right, climate change is going to destroy the planet. Our government, bullshit, or, like, yeah. Russia and China. Oh, yeah, they're going to destroy the world, too. But I'm like, you know what? If I can enjoy a simple flower, might as well. <laughs> you're making sure I can't right now. I think <laughs> happy nihilism is a thing. Yeah, yeah, that is a real thing. The new optimism. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know everything's fucked, but you're like, hey, it'd be nice if it was better. <laughs> I mean, no, no, I think that my dad's fighting. You have to laugh like, at that because it's like so fucked up. When my dad's fighting <laughs> like crazy wildfires, like you're just it's like. It's part of it, anyway. You know, everyone has hope. Yeah. Like, you know. Might as well die making some art, man, okay? Did you ever, <laughs> okay, wait, did you ever, ever see a bear steal a picnic basket? <laughs> no. But I have seen a bear. Oh shit! <laughs> and I've been scared shitless. <laughs> I've never seen a bear before. It's terrifying. I mean, that's cool. No. That is a big ass dog. That's all my only reply to that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the puppy wants to come here. Yeah, the puppy wants to fuck you up. <laughs> Oh, Leo did get an award for that in his fake movie. Yes, he did. <laughs> so, that was pretty realistic <laughs> to me. I was terrifying. I was just like, how is he alive? I was like, that fucker needs an Oscar, goddammit. He, he, he needed it after Great Gatsby, honestly. Or, like, uh, Aviator. Or he, any of the He needed it after Gilbert yeah. Grape. Like, he needed it fucking after Titanic. He needed it for being born. <laughs> like, let's just go that far. A little uh, <laughs> interesting fact. Uh, his uh, father was actually in underground comic book artist. Oh. oh my god, that's so awesome. Another fun fact. <laughs> like Leo, I don't Leo DiCaprio's first movie role was in Critters 3. Oh shit. Guys, are, you guys, are you guys going to piss off Nicolas Cage because we're talking about Leo now? I mean, there's enough love for both of them. I mean, what if he's watching and he's real mad now? I like, wish you know, Nicolas Cage <laughs> Nicolas Cage, <laughs> I'm, I'm so, so fucking sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love <laughs> you, man. We're all guilty. We all cheated on you. The, the first episode was on Nicolas Cage's birthday, so we had a, a picture of Nicolas Cage just sitting in this chair that we talked to. <laughs> it was also Kenny Loggins' birthday. Oh my god. Our co host like wore Kenny Loggins' mask. Right oh. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Tried to break my heart. I know, I was going to say he's heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have all the fun when no one else is here. And then we had guests that first episode. I don't remember who they were, but we had guests. The ghosts. Ghost Watch. Ghost Watch. <laughs> oh, Ghost Watch is a great Watch. series. Do you guys yeah. get down on Ghost Watch? Eh. I get, I get down on it emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can tell you some stories. <laughs> awesome. I just yeah. it so dirty so <laughs> I get down on it emotionally. <laughs> Half of the story is yeah. well explained. <laughs> that will happen. <laughs> it's fine. It's just, <clears> so, <laughs> what, what do you use to promote is, yourself I don't, on? I don't, I don't really say that. And where can people see your work? Maybe I am. I would probably say uh, Instagram. Instagram? Yeah. Like Facebook, eh. YouTube, eh. TikTok, I, I just hate TikTok, myself. Fuck no. I, I just, love TikTok. I just, oh I my just God, hate I myself know. at that point. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, eh, hey, it's How do you there, but with that? ironically, I get most of my views from there. So I'm like, like, because it's uh, like the quick, it's like the quick, quick, it's, quick stuff. Yeah, it's so easy yeah. to just dump Usually stuff on something. TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. also, it's just fun to scroll through. Yeah, I mean, you can use it to actually like, learn it's stuff. It's nice for the bathroom. It's also a great way to fuck with more. Yeah, like, you know, one hand. Yeah, right? Yeah, God, this whole shit. Do you, uh, do you think the city's gonna actually, like, make that deadline of lifting the mask and, uh, what, vaccine mandate by the 28th? Oh, no. I mean, you, you didn't check uh, it. We had our shot, so... I mean, I don't care. <laughs> I grew up around a bunch of crazy rednecks, so... No. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah. It's like, you wouldn't be... Ha I would want, no one would be alive if we didn't get at least the first vaccination. <laughs> like... It's no different. And you had no consent then, too. You were a kid. <laughs> now you can't decide. It's fine to have a choice. Yeah. Just don't, don't, like, 
Don't go near me. <laughs> don't nobody go near me. That's it. <laughs> yeah, they won't. They won't. Because like I well, also because I could get them sick. It's like I don't want to be the. It's almost like common that. courtesy. It's like I don't yeah. pee on you. You don't pee on me. <laughs> exactly. Well, so we, we keep well, talking, about, talking peeing. about America and peeing you know and how they're like the greatest I thing. I did have a, I did have a big slug. Yeah, we're all humans. We're I, all pee. I, I practice my uh, belief of uh, <laughs> coughing on everyone. So there you go. Sorry. So like, how big are like your classes and stuff? Like when you do like your your little outings or the is it like how many people show up for, for the chalk stuff? For the chalk, so I might do it. I like chalk. <laughs> oh, it, all right. So we're getting into this. Like the last <laughs> time I did it, it was about like five other artists. Mhm. Mm but, like, I had a shit ton of artists kind of message me, so it might be more if oh, I start... Oh, hell yeah. I'm saying I can help you. I can bring some people, too. Yeah, like... Like, hey, y'all, we're playing on the sidewalk. Yeah. Come we'll on. Just <laughs> it is bring your snacks. Fuck it. Yeah, I why not? I told you I would bring <clears throat> snacks, too. I said, I'll bring snacks, because... You'll bring snacks? I, I can't do any daytime activities without a snack. Like, it's just got... I'm a bitch. Like, I can't. <laughs> I have fuck yeah, snacks. bring snacks. I need my snacks and my stories. Hey, I... I bring the chalk and kind of snacks have, have at it. <laughs> gushers, Doritos. Oh, no, you had, you had the gushers. gushers. Maybe, maybe you had the gushers. You had my addiction right there. <laughs> granola so, bars, yeah. granola bars, but like the kind that are like, they taste like candy. The kind like of those kinds. gushers in them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you could totally make like rice with cheese with gushers. Oh my god, those would be so bomb. Let's dude. write that down, write that down. This, <laughs> Where's your notepad? Write it down. Write it down, Nate. What? Write it down. Oh, you're giving him. Hang on. I oh, no, I got it. this. I got a marker. I can do it. I, I, got, it. Do I got a marker in the arm. I have handwriting. <laughs> we were I just know. talking about this. <laughs> I'm doing it yeah. digitally. Oh, my goodness. He's gonna do what it am I writing down? Rice Krispie <laughs> Treats with mini marshmallows and, and gushers. gushers. But just the cherry kind, not the berry kind. The cherry kind would be bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Like, gushers and what? Gushers, mini the marshmallows. Like, the mini marshmallows. Don't forget fruit oh. balls. Fruit, fruit, fruit loops would be good in it. Because it is rice, right? Fruit loops I mean, are rice. Yeah, no, that's. It's healthy. I don't know if they would. I don't know if they would be good very well. Gushers are dope. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did you just do? I don't know. Gushers in Rice Krispies. You have a permanent marker. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so he never forget. I'll never forget. He's gonna forget one day. Be like, what was this? <laughs> no, no. no I got, not here. I have. I have not here. Not here. Never, never. <laughs> no, I've had plenty of ink mistakes on my body. Oh, this no. is, this will be fine. <laughs> Do you have tattoos you don't like? I love them all. Oh, that's good. Like the like the blood. All right. <laughs> so, all right. Um, where can people purchase your artwork, or is that even a possibility? I would say uh, go through my Instagram. Okay, and then what is your Instagram? Like Andrew, Andrew the Rose Artist. Okay. Just DM me, and you can find my artwork. I'm also uh, <laughs> being featured with uh, Pilsen Art House. Okay. Uh, I love how proud he is. Like it's just Yeah, he's all about his art, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. He's so excited. Oh fuck yeah! So uh, tonight, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? Like legitimately, like right now is uh, pancake and booze. And uh, yeah, let's talk about this pancake and booze. Yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, all right. Yeah. With some booze. So this was. Uh, what is this? Is this at Reggie's? Yes. Oh, I used to go to that. I forgot that fucking existed. It's also tomorrow, day. right now. So go right now. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Get your ass to Reggie's, bro. Go to early. Reggie's. Go a day early. Message me. <laughs> <laughs> I put the info right there. <laughs> so, but I will be there uh, tomorrow, uh, Just Saturday name night. Name drop his ass. Name yeah. drop his ass. Andrew, the Rose Artist. <laughs> I'm also going to be at Cole's uh, next week, so nice. if you want to purchase any of my artwork there, oh, yeah. I am. Nice. Are yeah. any of the flyers you gave us any of those events? Yes. All right, pop up, pop up some of those flyers so we can go through them. Oh, oh yeah. Show and tell. I love having this projector. I'm so glad it's we so had this. It's so beautiful. All right. You guys did a great job with it. So we haven't decided the time, but, uh, <laughs> but it's happening. But it's happening, and this is through uh, Any Squared. I want to do a, 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 an on location for that place. All right, so uh, this show, this is uh, Art Swap. It's going to happen uh, next week. 
just bring a piece of artwork and uh, you swap it out for a art piece of artwork that you like. Where is it? It is at... Uh, it's over in Logan. It's at uh, Hairpin Art Center. Hairpin Art Center. Yep. In Chicago. That's in uh, Logan Square. Yep. I was actually just telling him when we were Bank out there. Bank going on tonight and oh, tomorrow shit. night. Do you guys want to go to that? Actually? Where's it going on? Where's it going on tonight? I, tomorrow. I, I, I might because I'm just meeting up with a friend at this point. So, yeah, it's starting. It's right now and uh, it's tomorrow night. At Reggie's. I have, yeah, it's at Reggie's. Reggie's Rock Club. Yeah. Yeah. Tickets are, uh, I believe, are uh, fifteen dollars. It's not bad. Uh, yeah. And drinks, that's like the price and free drink. pancakes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, unlimited pancakes. Breakfast oh, for dinner. This, for dinner. this is going to be a <laughs> mid March for the opening show, but at Cole's, there's a bunch of our artwork right there, and uh, you can actually see my artwork right here. Yeah, yeah that's fucking badass. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Uh, this was designed by uh, Caesar. Wow, I love it. That's. I wonder what people are gonna come up with. Like, if it's just art that they was like. They were stuck inside, and they yeah. create something. And yeah. Th there's going to be so much emotion. I that. actually <laughs> have a few pieces. Uh, I did a few uh, chalk art pieces, and so That's you can cool. see my artwork, uh, photos of it. Yeah, how did that work? Like, you take a picture of it, and then... They just, yeah, take a picture and, and put it on a frame. Dude, I think I met you doing some stuff on the street once. Yeah. <laughs> I told him I've met him before. I'm like, I yeah, told like him. I, 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 what do you know surprised. Dan David uh, Zamba? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why I know him. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure we've been to Chicago or something yeah. a couple times. See how lives collide like that? Oh, yeah, Chicago's so small. For how big and how dense it is, yeah, it's, we don't it's, small it's so small. Like, the degrees of separation that's are like four. <laughs> so what's kind of, I found interesting because uh, I've had some affiliation with the uh, New York art scene. Nothing like that, but like because I lived in Baltimore, like a little bit of New York art scene kind of tripled down. So like I kind of hear what some of the politics, but like out here it feels like a small town. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of networking, a lot of camaraderie, yeah. a lot of running into people just all the time. Mm -hmm. It's nice because it's I like will, yeah. I will also promote uh, Agitator Gallery, like. They feature some of my stuff, and every Tuesday they do a uh, live art model session. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know so much of our art, man. It's awesome. We didn't hang with it more. Oh, shit. Thank <laughs> you. I'm my best friend over here. I mean, you should start going to any square. Yeah. I, I just I will. I mean, promote. that'll be good. Honestly, yeah. like, the fact that we've, we don't even know the same people at, like, yeah. Urban, so it's, like, just, it's just funny how cosmic stuff like that happens. You, you've been at one yeah. of the uh, Indie Square. I want to, I want to come back there more, honestly. Yeah. Do you I like paint? It. No, I don't. I yeah. my first time there, I drew like this chintzy ass Sonic and. Are dog. you like really yeah. artsy or like you no. were you were like left brain? I'm like, I'm like. I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> it's, it's, like it's, it's really <laughs> weird how I'm artistic. If that makes yeah. sense, like, I feel like, are you more of a tech guy? Well, all right. Stuff? So I always do a lot of tech stuff. My dad yeah. has an audio visual like company. Do you play Sudoku? I don't, but I, I I play guitar. I write music. <laughs> um, I yeah. come up with conceptual like short stories. Yes, you're, like, you're a writer, yeah. And like like um you know like shows and like concepts and stuff yeah and i like hanging around super weird theatery artsy Dude, people but good, that's like you, not me you'd be a good publicist though probably yeah you'd be a good publicist i but, think um, you'd like to manage like five people because then you could just pick like whoever you want to manage like it's like you have the power to do that it's great i mean it's, it's kind of why i really like the show idea. like people hit yeah. me up and i'm like oh well let's break down yeah. what you fucking do yeah get you on that's this what I'm saying. you like that lots of people don't like that shit well i mean you i like the work i like know? networking and i like doing stuff yeah. and like i'm always you're in and out, in and out of bands so so when i'm not in projects i'm like well what other like semi-narcissistic thing i can do where i can still network with people <laughs> no, like, 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 i need energy from people well you know it's like i'm like going around people yeah, and i'm like oh well let's talk music let's talk art let's see what you got let's see what well, i got yeah. and then let's do something together <laughs> that's like. great a lot more people should be like that it's just it was hard now because of covid but it really is it really put a stunt in really everything like, yeah, um, yeah. i was yeah. like it was like a good two years into starting my stand-up career. Dude, we were we were doing some dumb stuff. We were, and it was fun as shit. It was so fun. That, that night with the cut-off jean shorts. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh man. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we were just doing ridiculous-ass comedy. 
Um, I think they wear jean shorts is pretty funny. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, Someone's one, wearing no, his, no, he used to have this. He has this <laughs> joke. They're cut off. Which one? Never, which never, which joke? The, 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 the toast nude? joke. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you guys a never nude? Is that what you're doing with the jean shirt? No. I, I, okay. I was wearing I was wearing jeans and they tore. You're wearing your cutoffs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Never nude. They became jean shorts when I got to the show. <laughs> yeah, they did. You literally turned them into jean shorts when you showed up. <laughs> yeah, and then oh I, God. You know, Look, I can only get turned on so much. I, can't, <laughs> so. I can't control my manhood, so stop. Look. Yeah. <laughs> that was a look. It was a look. It was a look. It was a look. <laughs> He's all hot and bothered But the toast look, joke. Then I, 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 I would go off at all of you here. We need to fan you off. <laughs> I pulled off by being totally nude, so. <laughs> I mean, it's art, so, you know. Hey. So I've got one final question, secondly for both of you. All right. Um, what do you guys do outside of art? Like, uh, do you have, like, some sort of day job, any hobbies, any special interests? Do you play video games? Do you smoke weed? Well, <laughs> first, what do you do you outside of art? First, I, do. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. Okay, that's good. Oh, so okay. I have that one of those. Of All right. Yeah, it takes most of my Sorry. time. Wait, you only have yeah. one? At Amateur. We're doing a... Uh, <laughs> It can be a case of one. Hey, I'm not putting that much effort when that's for college, okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, like, we're going to the Mamma Mia lunch tomorrow, so, you know, <laughs> nice. That sounds fun. You have to hurt someone else in order to like gain like your you know your I mean, back. I ain't trying to hate. In order to feel any emotion at all. <laughs> no, I really I have been having this, these like moments where like I wake up in the morning and I have a totally new song in my head and it wasn't a song I've heard in the past or like you know or like really recently. It was a song I heard in the past but not recently. And it's like I just wake up and I'm like, this is awesome. My brain's like a jukebox. It's just like, girl, I'm gonna pick this song for you, and it's gonna be in your head, and then it goes away. It's all pocket. Back. It goes away. I so if, if I have a song that's <laughs> in my head, it's just there all the fucking time, and I'm like, I need to sing it out loud because it's not gonna go away. <laughs> so the new ones are great. Well, just uh, there's also Tiny Tim. Or I'll just get someone. any other song out of I will head. call you guys because you'll need to help me bury the body, but that would probably be murder. So <laughs> well, <laughs> well, to me. I can understand Tuesdays. They're just really hard and <laughs> I really love Tuesdays. Yeah. Tuesdays, yeah. Are, gross. Tuesdays are great. Tuesdays, Tuesdays are, are statistically like the worst office days. They're that you worse. Can have. They're terrible. Well, I don't work in an office, so I'm just I'm just saying. Like, no, I literally don't do shit on Tuesdays. Well, that's nice. I don't do shit. It's, it's I like, sometimes go to a skate room. So so my job is like my other job is brand promoter. So, no, I'm not an Instagram influencer. I I represent, 
I guess I could say it. Please guard gutters. Um, so they're supposed to be like the best company in the country, and I, I actually really like the product. I like learning about the product, but we go to events. Like rain gutters? Yeah, like rain gutters. And yeah. they guard the downspout so they get clogged up with leaves. Yeah. Oh, that's that yeah. thing where they advertise it. There's that little thing and they show the stuff a, running like, off the top of it while the water goes gutter, in. Yeah. So like what we do is we're brand promoters, so we like are the front line. So like we get leads. <laughs> so we go to events and we get leads. Sorry, I'm just so thinking we, of like soldiers yeah. at Walmart. We are yeah. 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 a survival <laughs> company, and then you run we, in there. We, and have you a call, we have a call center, but we don't do cold calls. So we just send like we, they created our. They like actually during the quarantine like created our position. Okay. So like they basically what I got their resume. They got my resume on and indeed and you don't really need to have. You don't have to sales experience because you're not selling anything. You're just literally talking about a product or a brand. And then if the person's like really hooked on it and they want to try or they want, you know, to get, because we have so many perks and so many things that we want to offer, but it really does work. Like I wouldn't, I just think it's fun that we get to go to events. Like I don't have to sit in an office. I don't have to be, we have Zoom calls and I can wear my pajamas. Like it's great. So sometimes it's not every week, but it's still enough for me to make a little money in its structure. Like yeah. I was just at the auto show, like I went on Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday, and yeah, there were some dead areas, and there were some hilarious old silver head, no offense, but they, the old men, the old, old <laughs> men with silver hair, they would like look at me, and they're like, what's this girl with dreads, like, know anything about gutters, and like, why is she here, and I was like, <laughs> so those were the guys I was like impressing, I was just like, you know what, I know shit, so come over here, we talk, we'll talk about your home improvement, okay, because your wife does not like you getting up on a ladder, <laughs> cleaning the gutters out. Well, so that's hilarious. my structured job, but right. normally so. I just like to play video games and watch movies. What do you game on? I have an Xbox, nice. but I, I like to play, um, I'm, I'm playing, I'm playing Red Dead still, um, but the online one. So you get kinda, back into that. It's really fun, they just don't update everything. So, before the, uh, Fun times. <laughs> I would. Time. I'll say. Uh, I actually used to work as an interior designer for uh, Sherlock Williams. And oh shit! Yeah, like. That's how that's now. Yeah, like people be like, <laughs> all right, Pretty what good. color? <laughs> what colors do I need to look unique? And I'd just be like, all right, you need this and this and everything. And I will say, uh, the video game I'm playing right now, and I just got into it, is Skyrim. Oh, uh, so bad. Didn't they just add a new patch to that? Oh my yeah. god. They like, yeah. just yeah. dropped a new patch. Yeah. 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 That's the one I'm using right now. How many mods do you have? Oh, I think like one. Do you have That's PlayStation? It? Do you have PlayStation? Oh, no. I, I use computer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you build you your computer? Okay. Did you build it? Nah. No. A lot of people I know well, build it. But yeah, a lot of people like, usually well, yeah. I have too many friends who do that. I'm just too lazy for it. I'd be too I'm just like. Do you have a tower? I have something. Yeah. <laughs> I have laptop. He's like, I can't tell you. <laughs> yeah. It's a secret. So, <clears throat> by my yawn. Because you guys boring. Oh, <laughs> wow. Jesus, dude. Oh, I'm just kidding. Wow. I'm just kidding. Wow. I'm just kidding. Wow. I'm just kidding. Well, okay, then. No, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> but uh, so unlike bad. my dick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, this guy I'm much more here. interesting to someone. <laughs> <laughs> but go on. So, uh, so we're going to end the show. Me. He's like my best friend already. Thank, Thank you guys for both being on the show tonight. Yeah. I appreciate it. Of course. We're going to do our sign off. We hated it. It was terrible. Thanks yeah. for joining us for the Not So Late Night Live stream. It was stream. the worst bath I ever had. Guest <laughs> Andrew the Rose. Artist. Andrew. Andrew the Rose, artist. <laughs> <laughs> and Megan Blackman, tonight's guest. Guest host, Brad. Please follow us on Twitter, Twitch, OnlyFans, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Google. Uh, what else do we have? Google, Mark. YouTube. Yeah. Uh, reruns <laughs> air on YouTube. Please tune into those. Live. Uh, start. Limewire. Start paying attention to us so we can move to Twitch and give you a better streaming no, site. Some, some pie. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, Nate, take us home. Mm. That's it. Yeah, that's it. He's doing the credits, uh -huh. and then he'll cut the feed. Yeah. That's what the little QR, oh, the little oh, oh, oh. Q, Q codes are for. He's so cute. Look at him.
sorry. Yes, <laughs> Daddy. I'm just sorry. Please promote me. He just <laughs> has, like, he's just adorable. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> He's concentrating. I'm trying to make no, sure I can't, hide anything I can't anything. tell. <laughs> I can't tell if everything is in focus. And we have matching socks, so we're kind of in kismet right now. Wow. Yeah. You do sure. actually we're have matching socks. Isn't that a place in Mississippi? Kismet? <laughs> that sounds like it would be a place somewhere. Actually, it is. It sounds like it's somewhere. Yeah, right? It sounds yeah. like a place. It's yeah. like a planet kismet. <laughs> Where everyone finds happiness. Where everybody is constantly feeling kind of weird deja vu. I don't know what you call that on Wii. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that would suck a good every day. Uh, welcome to like, my life. Like, once in a while, it's great. You know, because you're like, I'm on the right path. But if it's too much, you just, it's never supposed to happen every day. Right. You never, like... When sort of, I don't even know how many times in a lifetime you have deja vu, but you always remember all your deja vu moments. I remember all my deja vu moments. I remember more twice. than my normal memories. <laughs> <laughs> he what? He remembers them twice. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I love people. Like the last time I was on like, some kind of podcast, like I ran on acid rant, and I was like, whoa, that was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, where's the cat from the Matrix? <laughs> 